Hello, I'm Kolja, and today I want to show you how you can add a high score to your game. In the previous video, I showed you how you can add shooting to this little game. And uh, today, I want to show you how you can keep score. So, once I'm hit by the asteroid, my score is stopped here. And um, now I want to, want to record what was my highest value I've ever achieved. To do this, I need to make a new variable here. And to make it a high score variable that's accessible by everyone who uses that program, I choose this cloud variable here. I will call the variable high score. And this variable, the little cloud icon here, can be used to store a number, and only a number at the moment, that is shared between all users of your program. So with the right programming, I can make a high score that um, everyone using this program can try to beat. And that's actually quite easy. I go to this part here of the program where the game ends here when I'm touching the asteroid. It's game over. And I add a little check here to see if um, my score beats the high score. So um, if the score at this point is greater than the high score, then I will set the high score to the value I just did. And that's all. So when I start the game, each time I shoot an asteroid, my score gets increased by one. And once I get hit by the asteroid, the game stops. And my score of two is now copied to the high score. Let's try to beat that. Okay, so two. Just one more hit. Oh. I'm so bad at this game. And now the high score is three. And that's basically all there is to it. So I'm linking uh, this game in the, in the annotations. And uh, let's see how high you can get the high score. And if you build uh, put something like that in your games, share a link. And uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, Give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.